Good afternoon, it's Rachel here and I just wanted to show you what I have been doing for the last um, probably half a day just putting together. Oh no, this one I put together uh, uh, sometime last week. So I am making slow stitch covers for Christmas journals. Now, very important to say, I am not going to take orders for these. So I'm not, you can't reserve them. If I get them finished, I will let you know and I will put them in my shop. I'm not reserving them and I'm probably going to keep one or two. So um, I just want to see how I go because you know I'm very time poor and they take a long time. Um, that I will put the pages in, of course, and um, but I just don't know where they're going to get to and I just prefer, they're going to be more expensive because of the stitching and I just don't want to take reservations for them okay so i just wanted to share it with you because um, i will be starting working on christmas ephemera and stuff soon and also a lot of you have been you know very kindly purchasing the christmas fabrics and i felt like i have a responsibility to show you how i'm going to use them so this one is just on the piece of hemp um, that I am using for, I had a piece just flying around, I'm using for my um, field notes. And it's a wonky piece, so I kind of sort of squared it up by overhanging my my fabrics. Um, it's just a substrate really to, to do this collage. Um, basically, I really do enjoy um, cutting up the pages. So these are pages, these are pages, I love these. These have the similar function to the stripes and maybe script. They're sort of a bit more low volume and they sort of break up the pattern of the flowers. And so you can see bits and pieces of all my different um, pages. Yeah. And that might be from my, this that one's from the, the soft blues and soft colours one. Um, and then that's from a, a page. I, I did have a few pages that were cut off. I've probably got one down here I can show you. Um, I don't think that came from it, but look, this is, see how it's cut off there. So I didn't sell those. I actually don't have very many pages here in my Christmas, in my box, um, because I haven't given myself any Christmas pages, only the bodgy ones. Um, or I've got a couple, I took one pack, but I don't have hardly any of the new ones in my little box here because, um, I need, I've ordered more. Um, so... I'll be out I will pull some of those out and play with them as well but I love these uh as well so and they are in the new packs so but you will get one or you might get two if you buy a six pack and one if you buy a three pack um that's probably from one of my meterages and yeah so I've just really and that's just an antique or vintage fabric and and that was um some of my script that didn't print out so well it was really faded I'll show you here and you'll see some more of that because I will not throw a look at I love the linen I'm not throwing that out like it's faded but it can have a function so um that's that bit there and I'm not going to throw that out I will keep it and I will use it um yep yeah, so that's the first cover or just there's other covers underneath that are all pinned and I'm thinking I'm I'm probably going to do a little bit of embroidery on there and the rest of it's just going to be canthed and I think I'm going to I've already done that bit there and I've started here I'm going to do it in all different directions a bit like Lulu's quilt coming to that I haven't done any more on that but I will um this one I found I'm going to, I don't know what my substrate's going to be I found this broken book it had all tape everywhere and I'm no that one's not going to go on there I think it's going to go on a different one I haven't found one for this book yet um, this was for a different, this is a different one. I can't remember. I'll, sh I'll see if I can remember afterwards. So that's the first one I'm working on. Um, this one I just put together right now. I was watching Beck's video. Hi, Beck. I'm so glad that you're home and I'm sorry for everything that you've gone through, but things will improve and you'll get into your shop and wonderful fleurs arriving at Beck from So Be Created. Um, this one, so this was a piece of hand towel on screen yes this was a piece of hand towel that um i think it was i got it from the the com ex convent and um and the nuns it's got someone's name mucchetti or mughetti nuovo um and i've just again collaged so i have this page um that got chopped off at the top there was the cherub there and i've i've 
I've covered that with this piece that I had ripped up a piece of, it was a cotton one. Um, you love loving the, the background sort of ones and then there's that faded one again and I've just rough that was just a little strip that I had um, left over from when I was cutting the meter ridge of the red green and I've just ruffled that along there and just put bits and pieces um, I did here actually I that was only a little piece it went to there I joined it to this beautiful textural piece here um, and so I made it I've joined it and that way um, this is a different piece of hemp to this one. Uh, I'm going to again canther. I'll stitch all of these down then canther. And I don't know what embroidery I might do. I could even, no, I don't know. I don't want to go too crazy with the embroidery because otherwise I'll never get them done. So I'll just work it out as I go. So that's that one. Again, don't know what it's going to go on. I might find a book or something. Uh, this one here was going to go on here. Um, and I put a piece of this, um, I think it was like a tray cloth or a hand towel, maybe, probably not a hand towel, um, there with the lace, you can see it there. Um, and I wanted to use some of those images, which I absolutely love. My mum's the queen of using those, let me just get them. I haven't got these in my shop at the moment, I had them in packs. I'm going to be putting them in packs in my shop. Um, just the images to play with um here's a piece of one of the the journal pages some of the background and and a piece of script this um linen they just gave it to me we had all ripped off so that but they give me all the bodgy bits as well so and then the, i love that there so i cut this out from one of the um chopped off pages and i'll probably do some thread painting on there and i might embroider the holly and the berries on the Santa and I'm not quite sure how that one's going to evolve but I'll just fold it in half for you so you can see and if I show these again I will be repeating again that I'm not taking reservations for them um, because there could be someone watching that thinks um, you know they can ask me so these are going to be vertical ones so I might just just a sec I'm going to remove the ones underneath I'll actually I'll move the ones from the top and then we'll look at those in a minute so I'm going to do these on file folder I've put this old piece of paper it had a bit of purple and mold up there I got rid of that I have a lot of those pieces of paper so I thought that was perfect I'm going to do it on the pink old pink file folder <clears throat> because I love the red and pink together, um, especially the raspberry reds with the pink. Um, so that's, this one what I did was, so this was the vertical page, this was on this side and that was on that side. So this was on the left hand side of the page and that was on the right hand side of the page. But I wanted Santa on the front, so I cut it in half, cut it in half there. So there's where the middle was. Um, and then I had that faded strip, so I've just attached the two back together with the faded strip and then I've added a few bits and pieces they've already stitched on um, and I'm going to add that and then I don't know what else I'm going to do on this one so that's the first document journal I'm going to be doing and then I have this one now oh this is one of my new pages I did allow myself to take um, this is one of the backgrounds from the ones that Steffi did um, and so I've Christmas made it more Christmas so I've added um, this image here that I fussy cut and I ruffled up just this piece of the red green in cotton I've added that in cotton so the base is linen the red all these are, add, um, add things that I've added are cotton and then um, just added a little piece of that and a piece of that and then I'll decide what else I might just simply do a few rows of stitches I don't know I don't want to go too crazy because then I don't then they'd have to become way too expensive for my time and I thought because um, you know these are a4 so a nice solution for this too is to have that file folder showing but then the um, what's it called the paper old paper behind and I didn't want to use like a 1700s piece of paper because it's all going to be covered so this from the 1900s is perfectly fine behind it and then I have one more where again I've used some of those images that were in the packs that I was selling that have gone now um, but I will be putting these in as a as a little pack like the ephemera packs 
um, I just have to decide and so this is another page this is from the pack one the Christmas pack one um, session and I put this slightly hanging over it rather than lining it up I have these lovely flowers I might be able to do something on or I could do something there or nothing and then I've just added a few bits and pieces and it may get more I just want to stitch them down and then as I'm stitching I start thinking about what I want to do so I just wanted to show you and give you some ideas for um, the the Christmas fabrics really just to have a play um, and you know again this was one did it have an image there oh it's really nice under there but I wanted to put the image here so it got covered up but you know you have to make those choices um, but yeah you don't have to have you know things with all flowers on because you can add to them sort of thing so you know if I if I had lots of time I might decide to that would be wonderful I might even do some stitching to define that and some little French knots there's a thought so as you look at them ideas come to you and here we'll get these additions will get some canthering on them and that one and then maybe I'll do that and maybe I could do a little bit here I don't know I need to have a little thinky think about it um, yeah, so just to give you some ideas about how I like to play. Now, if you play with your um, Christmas fabrics like this where you cut them up too, you get, they go further rather than just using the whole page. For, you know, just sticking the whole page down and, and then putting things on that. So, yeah, I mean, I've got a bit of that there, then I've got a bit of it somewhere else. So you can, you can extend them by putting them on. You might not have hemp, but you might have a lovely old linen or like a nice plain hand towel but you might use that linen um, as your background and then you can do some collaging and and just create some lovely journal covers i mean journal covers or whatever you want really they could become even pouches or something like that so yeah, so I just thought I'd share that with you. I hope you're all having a wonderful weekend. Um, it's Saturday today here for me, but I think I may post this tomorrow. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and happy stitching or journal making and have a wonderful day. Bye.